burn it, burn that, so that hard skin that come up in there. This is the thing. Usually we don't burn corns like this. The reason corns are hard skin right. caused by pressure. It's not a virus. It's not some sort of abnormal growth in terms of like some sort of uh, infection. It's caused by pressure. So if you don't remove the pressure, it will keep coming back over and over. So if it's just hard skin because of pressure and you burn it, you actually damage the skin, you can right. cause scar tissue, okay. and then it's even a worse growth because now it's a, an abnormal so scar. So what would cause that now? Me, that's why I'm very curious to see because I have not seen something from first hand so, so big like that. It might be a really big corn or callus that has formed because it just was growing, growing because of pressure. You have a, a wide foot. Okay. And the problem with the wide foot is sometimes shoes don't fit too, too well and it gets squished. Little, does it hurt a little bit? No, it's, no it doesn't hurt. When Matthew when you last saw Matthew, did, did you have that growth? That, I didn't have that. Just okay. the, like the hard, the hard skin there yep. on the side. Yep. And he, he filed it down. Okay. So what's happening all in here, you definitely have a little bit of a fungal infection. Right. Yes. That's why I use the iodine in between. Iodine can help, but there's something better. In between the toes, cream doesn't work very well. Right. We have something called Lamisole. It's an antifungal medicine but we put it in a spray cream gets too moist I know I know cream and, get moist, and yeah. the fact that your toes are so pinched together right it, it keeps the moisture so iodine was a good idea but sometimes uh, the spray antifungal spray is a better the antifungal spray yes but what I'm looking this looks like an actual growth of your skin that's come up the whole skin has completely changed was this here as well when you had the last time when you saw Matt this darkness in between I think that, that from the, I think that from the iodine. That's what I'm thinking. If you had some sort of reaction, but again, oh, the other foot has nothing. Right. Yeah. Nothing. Did yeah. both feet look the exact same? Were they both nice and normal skin color? Bef before. 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 Then you know that starts acting up there. Because I remember a uh, doctor sent me to a guy, uh, the dermatologist guy, yes. and he gave me some cream. And two cream is put in there and said mix them and then I notice they begin to eat my skin out, get worse. So what he yeah, gave then, you? then I go and read it up. And ask him. And he says, don't mix these oh. medicine. And I then I said, wait a minute, why can me creep? Because I mean creep it get my skin moist. So I stopped I, I didn't use it anymore. Okay. Let me take a little look at what this is. I'm gonna see if I can scrape it down. So you just relax. If it's too sensitive, you let me know. So here, how long have you been using the iodine? Since when I came here, when Matthew gave me, tell me to use the iodine. Yeah, your skin has reacted somehow. And the fact that it has pinpoint bleeding, it's part of your actual skin. The skin has really changed. And this this really looks like an abnormal. So I don't know how that abnormal. comes up there. Okay. I don't want to hurt you. So if it's too sensitive, you let me know. I let you know. Okay. You're a tough boy, right? But you don't have to be tough. If it's sensitive, you just tell me. I tell you. I let you know. Hmm is a very thick it's this is definitely not a normal callus or corn usually it grows on the toe itself on the, on the toe yours is actually in between in, the toes. in between that's what i'm saying mm -hmm. no and it's your actual skin that's bubbled up you see here yeah that's exactly what this is except larger oh i see larger larger okay let me See if I can get this down a little bit more. Is it hurting? No, it's not, oh, okay. It could be both. 
I can't bear it. It's causing you pain, huh? Not very much. No, but every day? It's bothering you in your shoes? Or not really? Not really. Those more underneath mostly bother in my, in my shoes. But, you know, I don't want that in there because that, that has to come out. When you started using that iodine, did it burn? Did it hurt? Was no. Was it itchy? Yeah, a little bit sometime, yeah. This is very, very interesting. I don't know why you had such a I don't know why it built up so quick. Yeah, me too. Did you ever see fluid come out? No, nothing. I just see it up there. No bubble? No bubble. There is one cream that we like to use, that the only time we use in between the toes. It's a combination of antifungal, antibacterial, or antibiotic, sorry, and a cortisone. And basically, it's almost like a bazooka. It kind of covers all our bases, because sometimes it's not just fungus in here. Sometimes we might have a little of a bacterial infection. Okay. Um, and we have inflammation of the skin. You see how it's reacted so much, it's growing faster. Sometimes we use this to see if this will reduce some of the skin changes, because this is pretty extensive. The two feet look completely different from each other now. So I'm just trying to get down to the bottom. So. Try your best to relax your foot, I know it's not easy. You're doing really well. A little sore here? Yeah, I feel it. A little pinches? Go ahead, if I can't be a let you know. Okay. No, this is an actual skin, like a little bud of growth. Okay, what I'm hoping we can do, because it's very moist inside here. Right. I'm hoping that it's just an abnormal skin growth, like you said, you see how this is happening here? Yeah. It's the same thing that's happened here. It's an abnormal skin reaction to maybe the iodine or the amount of moisture. Okay. We gotta dry this out, so it becomes more of a dry callus that I can scrape down. This little growth here is very moist inside. So we really want to dry it, but I don't think the iodine was a very good thing for you. I think somehow it irritated the skin. The iodine. Yes. I'm going to prescribe you two things first. One is the antifungal spray that we're going to use in between the toes. So I want you to really open up like this. Right. And spray in here. In there. Yes. Then the cream that I'm going to give you, that is a mixture of an, a steroid cream, um, antibiotic and antifungal, you can use the cream on the skin over here. You see the top part on the toes? Okay. Up here is fine, but not in between. Okay. Okay? We're gonna see each other in a month. Right. Scrape it down again to see if we can get this to come off more and more. Okay, so um, because if, if it's the same spray, I um, I have a prescription from Matthew and my doctor did give me this for this way. A matter of fact, I have a whole one at home, but when I when I spray it in between there, yeah, I notice if it touch outside, it burn my skin. So Matthew said, okay, put it on the cotton. But then when I start on it, put it on the cotton, I I, I notice more like it eating my with my. Skin. Doesn't look like a wart. Doesn't look like. No, is that a what? No, no. But the skin has really changed very quickly. What I'm gonna say is we're gonna try it again using... This spray. Yep. Yeah, and the cream, the different cream that I'm gonna give you on the tops. Right. If after a month it's not calming down, if I'm not able to... If this doesn't really dry out and I'm not able to scrape it off, we gotta go back to the dermatologist. To, to get another opinion on this because this is a pretty extensive and it's happening all on the bottom as well where the skin's growing these little buds like this.
That's what's happening on the bottom. Underneath the bottom. Yes. And as you can see, as I scrape it, it's bleeding because it's your actual skin. Right. Callus and corns do not bleed. Don't, don't bleed. When I'm just scraping them flat. So it's a, been a change in your skin, and I think it's the reaction to possibly some of the medicine that, we, that you've tried, or maybe even just the iodine. So that's why I want to try one more time with the, this combination, and then we come back in a month and we see how much better it is. Okay. And then we can, then we might have to go to a family, uh, sorry, family doctor, get a referral to the dermatologist. Yeah, this is an actual growth here. But very interesting, I have not seen this se severe. But the problem is, you see how there's a lot of rough skin on top? Right. But inside is completely raw. It is raw, raw, raw. Oh, no good. Too much build up for you. Yeah, too much build up on it here. When did you stop putting on the iodine? Or have, are you still putting it on a little bit? I still put it, I still put it. I didn't put any today because sure, I know I come in here. Okay. But I still put it. Okay, let me see how this reacts here. Then we'll trim the nails after to help you with that. But uh, yeah, this is a real reaction to something. Did you ever see like a bubble or a blister form? No, I don't. I don't. What's it? What is here? Just what what you see here. Yeah. So I'm seeing how the skin reacts when I scrape it. I'm wondering if you have some sort of bacterial infection in the skin, because sometimes when you have a wound. Or, or raw skin, things can get in there very easily. And so that's why the cream I'm gonna give you that you're gonna use, you can use here as well. On top? Yes. But, but not in between the two. And you can use on the bottom here, okay. but in between, in between? No, you'll no, see. no. Did that hurt? No, that's okay. You're a tough guy, man. I'm just trying to see how the skin's reacting. Yeah, very abnormal skin growth. You have the same little ball here as you do on the top. I have it down on the air. Yep. And again, it's very f soft inside. Not typical callus. It's oh. like an expansion of the skin. Oh, the skin definitely reacted to something here. How long has it really been like this? The last time, I think the last time I were here was in November, end of November. And there was nothing on there? Yeah, well, he takes some out, he, he just clean it out, but it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that, so it's getting worse. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So that's why I would say we're gonna try one last thing with topicals to see if we can reduce it because it's bleeding too, too easily when I'm trimming it. So I wanna get this reaction, whatever has happened, down. Right. Some sort of, it's, I, I, I think it's some sort of infection that's happened. Maybe a very extensive fungal or possibly bacterial infection. Okay. Get that down and if it's working, I should be able to trim off all those little bumps easily, shouldn't be bleeding. Right. Because it's going, everything's shrinking. Cortisone cream is going to help with that too, but if it's not, we got to go to a, to a family doctor, get referred to another dermatologist, because sometimes they can actually swab and test the area to see exactly what's going on. Yeah, exactly. But this is not a, it's not a callus or a corn. So it would say like um, growth or something. Some sort of growth, but I believe it's a reaction that your body's having to some sort of infection that's here. Inside it. Inside in the skin. In, in the, the skin. skin. In the skin. Yes, in the skin. I might, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna write a, a, a letter to your doctor now. Maybe they can do a swab at your family doctor's office quickly. Right. And they at least can send that out and get a, a, something done quick while you wait for your dermatology appointment. Okay. How about we do that? They can do that. Because yeah, this is not something that I normally see, very rare. Okay, so that way we can get them on it a little bit faster. Right, right. Okay, but in the meantime, I'd still try those two. If it's not, if it's making it worse, obviously stop. If you're feeling itchiness, if it's irritating your skin, you stop. Stop using. And we just try to keep it dry. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, let me trim the nails and then I'll write you that letter, okay? 